And we love NASCAR, right? We love NASCAR. What a great crowd. So you have 3,000 people there coming in as we speak. This place is packed. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I just want to tell you, the campaign is doing really well. It's never been so well united. We started on June 16th. I would say right now, it's the best in terms of being united that it's been since we began. We're doing incredibly well. We're leading in the state of Florida. You saw the poll. We're leading in Ohio. We're about tied in Pennsylvania, but I think we're gonna be leading the next time. So I think, we, I think we've never been this united, and I just wanna thank everybody for being here. This is incredible. This is incredible. So remember this, and it's really pretty incredible. I got up this morning and I pick up the papers, and then I turn on the news and I see $400 million being shipped in cash. And they didn't want dollars, it's being shipped in different currencies and it's being shipped overnight to Iran. $400 million. You know, we have a president who frankly is incompetent, okay? In We've been humiliated by President Obama and his policies. We've been humiliated by the Iran deal to start off with where they get back $150 billion. We've been humiliated as a country when they took our sailors, they forced them to their knees, and the only reason we got them back is because we hadn't paid the money yet. And that's the only reason we got them back. Otherwise, they would have had to wait till I became president. Believe me, they would have come back fast. They would have come back very fast. You look at our numbers, just take a look at the numbers. Home ownership, the lowest number, the worst number that has been in 50 years. Home ownership. You look at everything that's going on, we've doubled our debt during the last eight years of the Obama administration. Our taxes are through the roof. And by the way, Hillary Clinton wants to make your taxes much higher. I'm cutting taxes, big league. Big league, very big, very, very big. Look, America's been, again, it's been humiliated in so many different ways. But just take a look in Libya. Take a look, Libya, look at that mess. And that was Clinton telling Obama what to do. I guarantee if he had his choice again for Secretary of State, he'd love to have a do-over, that I can tell you. So you got Libya, you have Cuba. Look at China, building massive fortresses in the South China Sea and just taking your jobs, taking your jobs in Daytona, taking your jobs. Look what's happening. Look what's happening in Mexico. I'll give you an example. A friend of mine builds massive plants. That's what he does. He builds plants. That's all he wants to do. He builds plants. And I see him recently and he said, we are building the biggest plants, the most impressive plants you've ever seen. I said, oh, that's good news. He said, no, no, they're being built in Mexico. I said, what about in this country? What about in Daytona? Forget it. No, you have to get me elected. We'll be building in Daytona. We'll be bringing jobs back. We'll be, we'll be bringing jobs back again. We'll be bringing jobs back. So, by the way, look at your space program. Look at what's going on there. Somebody just asked me backstage, Mr. Trump, will you get involved in the space program? Look what's happened with your employment. Look what's happened with our whole history of space and leadership. Look what's going on, folks. We're like a third world nation. And then you get back to crime. 
You see what's happening with the police. You see what's happening with, take a look at Orlando. Take a look at San Bernardino. Take a look at the World Trade Center. Take a look at what's going on. And then worldwide. And we let ISIS take this position. It was Hillary Clinton that she should get an award from them as the founder of ISIS. That's what it was. That's what it was. Her weakness, her weak policies. Then on television this weekend, Hillary Clinton, in asking, she's asked a pretty simple question. Anybody could have answered it. And she lied. She lied. She lied so much and to such an extent that it's become a big scandal. It's become the big story. And it's actually taken a little while to see it because the press is totally dishonest and they don't, no, they don't want to tell. They don't want to talk about what's really happening. Believe me, they, and we all know it, they want a certain narrative, and that's not the narrative they want. But what she did is lied so badly, and you have the FBI director saying she lied, right? Said she lied, said she was negligent, said all of these things, and now she's running for president. Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed to happen. So again, I look and I'll never forget the scene this morning. And remember this, Iran, I don't think you've heard this anywhere but here. Iran provided all of that footage, the tape of taking that money off that airplane, right? $400 million in cash. How does the president do that? How do you do that? You, you, we're going to send $400 million in cash. This is in cash, in currency. Now, here's the amazing thing. Over there, where that plane landed, top secret, they don't have a lot of paparazzi. You know, the paparazzi doesn't do so well over there, right? <laughs> and they have a perfect tape done by, obviously, a government camera. And the tape is of the people taking the money off the plane, right? That means that in order to embarrass us further, Iran sent us the tapes, right? It's a military tape. It's a tape that was a perfect angle, nice and steady, nobody getting nervous because they're going to be shot because they're shooting a picture of money pouring off a plane. And then you say, where does that money go? Who gets that money? I doubt it's the people of Iran. I doubt it. But you say, who gets the money? Then you also say, who's authorized to give cash? Who's authorized? No, no. Who's authorized to give cash? And you know what? I'll tell you, it's a disgrace. And Iran released that tape, which is of quality like these guys have. Iran released that tape so that we will be embarrassed. And two days ago, one of their tops said, we don't care about the deal with this country, with the United States. We're going to do whatever we want. Said it. Scornfully said it. We're going to do whatever we want. We're not going to abide by any deals. Who does the United States think we are? Look, they were in big trouble. They had sanctions. They were dying. They were in big trouble. They probably eventually would have collapsed. And we took off the sanctions and we made this horrible deal. And now they're a power. They've gone from being in deep, deep trouble. Iran is now a power. And they're going to have nuclear weapons much sooner than you think. And they have plenty of money. And they have plenty of everything now. You know, we're fighting in Yemen. And we're fighting them. Everybody's fighting. We're fighting all over. But we're fighting them. And they don't want Yemen. They want the border of Saudi Arabia because they want the oil in Saudi Arabia, right? They want the oil in Saudi Arabia. So they're fighting for Yemen and back and forth. But we're on the other side of the fight. And the question was asked to Secretary Kerry. And this was something all started by 
crooked Hillary Clinton. This was all started. This was all started by Hillary Clinton. This was all, everything was started by her. They relied on her. They relied on her. So what happens is you ask the question, why didn't you settle Yemen as an example? Why didn't you get something settled in Syria as an example where we're fighting? They're backing Assad. Why didn't we settle? And you know, the answer was, it was too complicated. Now think of it, that was the answer. It was too comp, wow, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. It was, folks, it was too complicated, they said. It was too complicated. Now, so we now, it looks like we paid $400 million for the hostages, right? Such a bad precedent, such an unbelievably bad precedent by, set by Obama. Now, two more have been kidnapped since then. You know that, right? So you got two more. Where is it going to end? Where is it going to end? What we're doing is insane. We have a president that doesn't know what the hell is going on. All right, and listening in there on Donald Trump, he's speaking in Daytona Beach, Florida, right now.